This particular Calypso Carol actually is very famous the world over uh, with all its rhythmic ingenuity and uh, upbeat, pulsating, exciting, open air uh, feeling that it has. Uh, written originally by Michael Perry, a vicar in Tunbridge in Kent, uh, in, I think, 1968 for the publication of book two of a, a Christian songbook for youth called Youth Praise. Michael Perry wrote both the words uh, and the music. Well, the music has a folk quality about it, but I think he can be credited with uh, actually constructing it. Bum, ba, ba, da, 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 ba. It ends, it's in D major, it ends on the tonic chord, but the chorus begins on the subdominant. So dee dum bum ba da dee gives us that little always build up to the beginning of the chorus. In thirds la da da dum ba da 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 dee. So it's a spirited piece, uh, and in my own arrangement, uh, there's some foreshortening between the verses. So the verses suddenly come in a, a bar earlier than you expect, which just builds the excitement. Noel Tredinick is known for key changes. Can't always keep in the same key. And uh, I think that's a feature of uh, both Maria's pieces today. And uh, so a great opportunity to, to hear this piece played wonderfully. Uh, and then the normal procedure in one of these modern songs, particularly a calypso carol, is that you repeat the last chorus. So you do that same little familiar phrase leading back to the same chorus again. Ya da 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 dum da dum ba dum ho na carry me. And the whole theme of it is about, uh, as we look at the lyrics, about see him lying on a bed of straw, a drafty stable with an open door. It must have been very drafty. Mary cradling the babe she bore, the Prince of Glory is his name. So lovely rhymes there by Michael Perry. And then starting on the high fifth, the high D. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord of love again. So we're getting caught up in this Mardi Gras, this pageant. We're moving from one place to another. Carry me, draw me, follow me to uh, Bethlehem in a wonderful way. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. So that parody and that diversity and paradox of how the Prince of Glory, with all the glory of being a king of heaven, should come down to a dirty cow's feeding trough. You can't think of a more contrast between those two worlds of, of glory and poverty and rejection. So Michael Perry's great Calypso Carol, uh, I know it's appeared even on a postage stamp there in the Caribbean. Uh, the opening line and the name Calypso Carol. So it is world famous. And it's going to be a favourite of yours tonight after Maria has played it. Secondly, the famous Silent Night. Yes, it does contain a key change. And there are some different moods in the accompaniment here. I have to harmonise something fairly quickly uh, to keep the chords simple. The longer I live with a piece, the more chromatic it gets with diminished sevenths and suspensions. Uh, so I think this was done fairly quickly and first performed in uh, Croydon's Fairfield Hall, where it was recorded for CD. And uh, often the track is now played on many on many radio stations. The final phrase is the introduction. And uh, you always have to think of a key. As you know, it was originally because the organ broke down. Some people say it was the snow. Some people say it's the mice. But the organ was not working on Christmas Eve there in the deep snow uh, of this Austrian village. And so uh, the music director, was, it was very modern in some ways, he was a sort of Graham Kendrick, as well as playing the keyboard, he could also play the guitar. And I think he fished around at the back of the organ and dusted off a guitar case. And because the organ wasn't working, he took out his guitar and he then, as it were, eked out and came up with this uh, simple and wonderful melody. Now, guitars, as we know, normally play in E major or A major. So maybe the original was in A, but we more normally in the West sing it in B flat. Uh, so we, in the Tridentic arrangement, we start in B flat and then move up to B major just to 
layer it. Often with a doxology, you key change. In other words, you go from one degree of glory to another. You raise your heights and expectations. You look up as indeed the key changes. And Maria will bring that out in a spectacular way. Uh, but it's a holy night, so there's a mystery there. It starts on a C minor 7, so called 2 with the 7th, two in, called 2 in B-flat major. Ba bam ba da di, then G minor interrupted cadence, and then that lovely C uh, C thirteen, um, uh, just to bring us round to the B flat six four chord. Thank you so much for those words, Noel. Yes, we ended B major in your fabulous arrangement of Silent Night. I'm so excited to be playing uh, these Christmas carols and solo piano version here on Seven Notes in Seven Days at seven p.m. So tune in for tonight's Christmas special. See you then.